the show begins with a female warrior called Alexia, who is chasing down two demons in the forest, along with her soldiers, but these demons were able to make their escape by jumping off the mountains, as they went into hiding in a nearby village. We see a boy called, Heron, who has just finished mining some ore. He goes to the market to sell it, but the merchant only ended up giving him just two silver coins. Suddenly, there was a chaos in the market square, as a group of warriors led by Alexia questions the villagers if they noticed any demon around, and advises them to go back to their various houses, so they can search the whole place. Heron finds an elderly man who was badly injured, and quickly takes the man to his mother for treatment, while he goes to fetch some water for cleaning his wounds. On his way, he finds a woman lying down inside a pool, and as he goes to check, he discovers that the woman is already dead. Before he could realize anything, a demon comes from behind and started to attack him. Heron quickly brings out a knife to defend himself, but the demon is too powerful for him to defeat. As the demon is about to kill him Alexa arrives and stabs the demon on its chest with her spear, but it wasn't enough to kill such powerful demon. At the dying moment when the demon is about to kill Alexa, Heron comes from behind and smacks its face with a torch, but still, the demon manages to make its escape, while Alexa continues to hunt it down. All the villagers were asked to close down their shops, while Alexa and her warriors started to search the whole place carefully, until she notices an injured person passing by and quickly pins the person down to the ground, as she discovers that it was the demon disguised as a man, and orders her men to take the demon away. Alexa calls a meeting among all the villagers, so that she can prove to them that the tales of demons and monsters are real. The demon they captured is tied up, and is chained to a pillar. Alexa takes a very hot iron and as she impales it to the demon's chest, it reveals the true identity of the demon, which surprises the villagers. The demon says to everyone that they must convert, or die. But before the demon could say any more word, Alexa beheaded him in front of everyone, while another demon who witnesses this runs away. After the whole incident, Heron and his mother takes the wounded old man to their house. Heron is at shock, as he couldn't believe that demons actually exist, making the elderly man to tell him a story on how the monsters came to existence. Thousands of years ago, the titans and gods went on a really tough battle, but when the gods manages to subdue the last titans, it left a curse on the gods as the sea turned red, which gave birth to gigantic creatures, who was born with a single purpose, which is to destroy the realm of the gods. The gods and the giants fought endlessly, but none of them were able to defeat each other, until Zeus compromises with some of the giants, and was able to end the war by having the giants betray each other. The god called Hermes was able to gather all the souls of the giants, and traps it beneath the ocean forever. But the old man concluded, that a man later found where the giants were trapped, and as soon as more men also found it, they started to feed on the giant's body, which turned them into demons. Heron wonders why the gods were never helping them in their times of trouble, but the elderly man tells him that the humans will only seem weak or useless, if the gods are intervening all the time. The next morning, Alexia meets with Heron, because she is so impressed with how bravely he fought those demons the other night, and proposes to him to join her warriors, because she's planning on going on a battle with the demons. But Heron refuses, as he doesn't want to fight for those same villagers who abandoned him and his mother. Heron goes back home and tries to make his mother pack her luggages, so that they can go far away from the village, but his mom disapproves, as she believes it wasn't the safest thing for them to do. Seeing how hesitant he is, she then decided to try and reveal to him that he was never a bastard, and before she could say any more word to him, some villagers came to their house with hot metals with them, because they wanted to test Heron's mother, as they believe she's one of those demons. Heron couldn't accept this, and was ready to fight all six of them to his death, but not wanting her son to get hurt any further by the villagers, Heron mother places the hot metal on her hand, to prove she's not a demon, and other to stop the fight. Heron is full of regret on why he didn't join Alexa in stopping the demons. The elderly man says to him that he senses a huge war coming, and advises Heron to go to the mountaintop, where he is going to find a very powerful ore, which he can use to make an indestructible sword, that will help him defend himself from those demons. As Heron proceeded on going up to the mountain to find the ore, we see a god known as Ares, who appears before the old man, calling him the king of kings. The old man suddenly transforms to his younger form, and he is revealed to be Zeus himself. Zeus does not want the gods to intervene with the human situations, and strongly believes that Heron can lead the humans on a war against those demons. Heron later arrives with the ore he found in the mountaintop, and handed it over to the old man, so he can forge the powerful sword for him. Later that night, Heron went to his mother to know the meaning of a very strange dream he had, on when she was crowned a queen. His mom tells him his dreams were correct, that long ago, 
she was forced to marry the king of Corinth known as Periander. But during that time, she also gets the attention of Zeus who falls in love with her, and normally disguises himself, as the king to meet with her. But one day, Zeus reveals his identity to her. But when Zeus' wife called Hera, found out about this, she became so jealous, and commands some spirits to help torture King Periander in his dreams, telling him that his wife will soon give birth to twins, and one of them will not be his biological child, and that child was Haran. As soon as Haran was born, the king tries to murder him for not being his biological son, but his mother appears and kills the king, so she can save her son, Haran. Zeus later took them both far away from the town so that the jealous Hera won't be able to find them. After Haran listened to this story, he became so furious, because Zeus never interfered when they needed him the most, making his mother to finally reveal to him that the elderly man, who has frequently been staying with them is no other person than his father, Zeus. Meanwhile, we see Alexa and her soldiers, who were fighting with the demons fearlessly, but many of them were killed in the fight. Zeus later appears to Haran and reveals his true identity to him, with the intention of asking for forgiveness for not helping Haran and their mother in times of trouble, but Haran furiously tells him to go away, not wanting to have anything to do with him again. Alexa later shows up, as she warns Haran to flee, because she was being chased by a three-headed creature called, the Cerberus. We later see two gods called, Apollo and Ares, who were about to battle with each other in Colosseum. Suddenly Zeus apprehended Ares and questions him on why he told Hera about Haran. Hera also appears, and tells Zeus that she already knew about the secret anyway, and asks Zeus if he ever had any feelings for her. Zeus said yes, but he also admits to loving Electra as well. Haran's mother, making Hera really filled with jealousy and anger, and promises herself to kill both Electra and her son, Haran. But Zeus warns her never to lay her hands on them. But the overprotective Zeus suddenly removes the clouds, so he can be keeping an eye on Haran, and his mother, Electra. Meanwhile, we see Haran and Alexis battling with the three-headed creature. They were successfully able to kill one of the heads, but were suddenly surrounded by demons. Alexa want to make her escape to Polis, and immediately Alexia runs away, Heron goes into the market square to search for his mother, Electra. After Heron kills some demons on his way, this gets the attention of the demon king, who started to attack him, using his magical spear. Zeus sees all these from above and whispers to Heron on the instructions on avoiding the impending attacks of the demon, and Heron was later able to cause an explosion, allowing him to make his escape, and also making the demon king to lose trace of him. Heron runs back to Polis and continues the search for his mother, while as the other villagers were trying to escape from the demon attacks, the demon king who is revealed to be called Seraphim stops them, and threatens them concerning Alexia whereabouts, and even kills a man who gave a clue about where Alexa could be. This gives us an impression on how ruthless the demon king is. As the demons were looking for Alexia, Zeus decided to secretly intervene by hiding all traces of Alexia, and when Heron noticed this, she decided to use the opportunity to take down Heron and his mother, Electra by redirecting Seraphim and his demons to her location, and she was also able to turn the other gods against him, so he won't interfere in what is about to happen to Electra and Heron. Zeus' brother Poseidon also takes her side, because he doesn't want any bloodshed between them. Meanwhile Seraphim apprehended Electra and questions for the whereabouts of Alexia. Electra looks up in the sky expecting Zeus to help her out, but nothing happens. Heron sees this and runs to help his poor mother, but he was easily knocked out by Seraphim, even though he repeatedly tries to fight off the demon, he keeps getting defeated. Zeus is forced to watch, as Seraphim murders Electra in cold blood, while Heron who weeps in pain is taken into captivity. Meanwhile, we see Alexia who is still making her escape from the demon through the forest, as she's being careful of the danger that might come her way. She sees many people who were killed by the demons, and also sees Zeus who is disguised as an old man, weeping the death of his beloved, Electra, who later informs Alexia that Heron was been captured by the demons. Electra's spirit is taken to the underworld, and Hermes shows her the gate, which is a distinction between the dead and the living, and also told the spirits to take good care of her. But before she could live, she asked Hermes to allow her to see her son Heron for the last time. Electra is able to appear in Heron dreams, telling him that there is happiness after death, and advises him to be strong for the challenges that is to come. Hera later meets with Seraphim, as she forces him to bow down to her, Hera shows him a vision on how his father was killed when he was still a baby, making his uncle Periander, to take over the throne, who later throws him from a high building to kill him, but he was rescued by a palace maid, who promised herself to protect him. She runs away with him into the forest, where she takes care of him, together with a bear. But Seraphim's uncle Periander, and his men, 
was able to locate them, and killed the servant who took care of him. But Seraphim was able to make his escape to the sea, where the giant's remains were kept, and after he feeds on the flesh of the giants, that was how Seraphim transformed into a demon, beginning the new era of demons. Back to the present, Hela tries to make Seraphim believe that it was all Zeus' fault, and blamed his mother's death on Zeus, advising Seraphim to instead focus all his efforts and energy on trying to take his revenge, by killing Zeus, Heron is already enslaved by the demons, and is being taken to the gallery for sale. We find out that Alexia is still alive, who later reunited with her old friend known as Chiron, who was the leader of that village. Alexa visited him because she wanted a counseling, on a very special map she has in her possession. Chiron tells her that it's a star map, that leads to the location on where the giants were buried. Suddenly Seraphim shows up, and was about to kill them all but Chiron decided to hand over Alexia without a fight, in exchange for the safety of his people. Later on, Hera shows Seraphim the location of the powerful sword, that Zeus made for Heron, which is strong enough to cut through mountains, and commanded him to use the sword to kill Heron. We see Heron who was taken into captivity in a slave ship, but he was able to scheme along with the other prisoners, by killing the slave masters, and taking control of the ship. Hermes reports to Zeus that he saw Hela working together with Seraphim, making the god really angry. And as Seraphim shows up on the slave ship and tries to kill Heron, Zeus finally decided to interfere, by using his lightning bolt powers to stop him, which demolishes the ship in the process. Hera is so furious with Seraphim for trying to attack a god, but this does affect her plans, as she instructs Seraphim to find a very powerful artifact called, the Cauldron of Darkness, which can be used to kill Zeus. Zeus tells Alexia to lead the other prisoners to Melitino, so they can atone for their past sins, by going on a mission beneath a hidden place in the sea, so that they can burn down the remains of the giants, which will finally end the era of demons for good. Heron wants to avenge his mother's death by killing Seraphim, but Zeus tells him that he has other better plans as he calls a large bird to take him to Olympus, where the gods live. Heron is now among the gods, who are not happy that Zeus has brought him to their place. But some of them welcomes him, while some gave him numerous insults, like calling him a bastard. Hera is aware of this, but Zeus really wants to end his conflict with her, as he apologizes to Hera, as he lays the blame on himself, but when Hera agrees to forgive him, only if he kills Heron, but Zeus couldn't agree to this, making the war between the gods much more fiercer. To prepare Heron from Hera's threats, Zeus began to give him a very intensive training in Colosseum, as he must defeat a robot soldier, without relying on his anger. But he repeatedly gets defeated by the robot, as he couldn't let his anger go. It turns out that Heron's anger was on why Zeus allowed Electra to die without doing anything, making Zeus to sincerely admit to him, of being powerless at times. When Heron brings up the topic concerning having his revenge of Seraphim who killed his mother, Zeus suddenly decided to reveal to him that Seraphim is his half-brother. After a long day Heron is successfully able to let his anger go, which made him to finally defeat the robot. Later on, Hermes appears to tell Heron that Wyrus wants to see him. When Heron goes to see them, Gods advises him to be careful, because of the influence he will hold in coming events, and also shows him a vision of Alexia and the other prisoners, who are in serious danger. Heron wants to go and rescue his friends, but Zeus insisted on him on not going, since he's not well trained. Few moments later, Zeus goes to meet Seraphim, and tells him that Hera is only trying to fool him, and shows him a vision of his past where he has always rescued him whenever he's in danger. So he shouldn't be deceived by Hera, because he had nothing to do with what happened in his life. Zeus also handed him a coin, and with the help of the coin, Seraphim was finally able to locate his uncle that tried to kill him when he was an infant, and was finally able to get his revenge. On the other hand, Alexia and the prisoners were accompanied by Chiron, who assisted them in locating the place where they can find the giant's remains, and burn them down, so they can end the demon era for good. Chiron advises them to be really careful, and only keep moving forward without looking back because if not, they will all be killed. But Alexa tells him to head back to his village, as they can't risk his life too. As Alexia and the group silently moved towards the gates, many souls and illusion face started to manipulate their minds, and some of them couldn't resist got killed by doing so, while Alexa and what's left of the group were able to make it to the other side. Heron later arrives to assist them, and he questions Alexia if she has the map, let's finish this. Alexa, Heron, and the others walked for a really long miles, before they were able to arrive at their location. But unfortunately, they couldn't find the giant's remains they were looking for. Seraphim suddenly appears with his demon armies, as we found out that he was the one that took the giant's remains. He tries to convince Heron into joining him on his evil schemes, so they can end the realm of the gods, 
since it's because of them all the chaos is happening. But as Heron rejected the offer, because he doesn't want to harm his father, a fight suddenly began between them all. The group are able to escape from the demon army, as we see them sitting on a giant bird, who takes them away. According to Hela's instructions, Seraphim goes to where the artifact called the cauldron has been kept, and he is able to gain possession of it, but the guardian of the cauldron started to attack him, but with the help of the powerful sword Zeus made, he was able to injure the guardian, and manages to escape from the place unharmed. When Hela takes the cauldron away from him, she uses its almighty powers to resurrect the giants back from the dead. Later on, Hermes appears before Zeus to give him some informations, but before Zeus could realize it, he pierces a knife on his throat, as that person turns out not to be Hermes, but Hera, who disguises herself as Hermes. As the giants started to head towards Olympus, Hera makes a deal with them to give them dominion over the seas, if they are able to kill Zeus. While Zeus' brother Poseidon, who sees all these, goes back to Olympus. Zeus manages to cure himself from his wounds using his lightning powers, while Poseidon joins him in the fight, as he is about to risk the sea to the giants. He advises Zeus that the only way they can easily end the war is if they could take back the cauldron from Hera, which she uses to control the giants. So Zeus decided to fight with Hera, while they can use her distraction to take the cauldron away from her. Heron volunteers to search for the cauldron, because Hera will not expect him to be the one going for it. As soon as the giants arrives, another massive war begins, which is the battle between the giants and the gods. Heron sits on his giant bird as soon as he noticed where the cauldron has been kept, which was hidden in the clouds, surrounded by flocks of blackbirds. When Zeus defeated Hera in a fight, it gives Hera the chance to retrieve the cauldron. Hera was suddenly betrayed by the giants whom she sided with, and as they were about to finish her off, we find out that Zeus still loves Hera no matter the evil she has committed, as Zeus sacrifices himself, so he can save her life. Seraphim takes the cauldron away from Heron, while Hera makes her escape. Heron goes on a one-on-one -on -one combat with Seraphim, and after he was defeated by the demon, he is left with no other choice, but to pierce himself with a spear, which impales Seraphim as well. Suddenly Heron unconsciously unleashes Zeus' lightning bolt, and in a shock, it kills Seraphim instantly. Heron once again gains possession of the cauldron, and seals all the giant spirits inside of it, and bringing peace back to the world. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel, and keep watching. Bye.